Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Thanks so much for joining me. So um, I'm here to use up some more circles. This time these are my two and a half, I think it's two and a half inch uh, circle punches. Um, now these are just, well actually I think the Tim Holtz ones are from when I did uh, some specimen cards for my Tim Holtz journal. And then these ones are probably from punching out specimen circles as well or specimen cards, sorry. So I've just got these and I've just been sitting on them and I knew that I wanted to make clusters, but because they're a circle shape, I didn't really know how to go about it. And then I saw a video from Tanya from Tatty Treasure very recently. Um, I will link it down below because these are very much inspired by her where she was layering up different types of, you know, book page and tissue and music sheet and papers with some fussy cuts and yeah I, I really like how these look especially for botanicals um so I thought I would give some of these a go and um yeah just really share the idea around as best I can so what I've done to prepare obviously I've got my circles already punched out um these are just <laughs> from my never-ending stash um and then I've just torn up some papers so I've got um some book page I've got music sheet in this really nice uh, brown colour. This is part of an old envelope, which I've just torn into little little pieces to give me some brown. I've got some scraps of book page um, to give some green. Um, I've got some scraps of kit page to give some more greens and browns. And then I've got some um, uh, napkin, which again was just from my scrap box. So all these things I was just sitting on. <laughs> So um, the first process is to start layering your um, your scraps. Now I'm not going. I'm going to stop the video here, um, you know, and come back to you because I don't want to um, bore you to death by showing you the layers. Basically, all I've got is music page, some napkin, some book text as the background, and from there we'll layer up things. So what you see here, I'm just going to use three things to make up my background, and I will show you how they look. Um, and then from there we can um, obviously do the fun part. So I'll be back to you. So I'm on my last background and I just thought I would do this last one on video. Um, as I say, I've shown you all the, the papers I'm using. So I've just got this nice green book page. And then I've done a couple of bits of this just so they can stick out, you know, take up more of the, the surface of the whole piece. I kind of forgot about the napkin. <laughs> um, some of them have napkin on, but um, I think only three of them have napkin actually, but that's okay um, because yeah. Um, the, the main thing is, you know, once we add all of the, the, um, the focal points and everything, they're gonna look miles better than what they currently do. I just wanted to show you how quickly it is to put your background together. Just fling those papers down once you've decided which papers you want to use. Just fling them down um, because this part really, really does not matter as much as, um, well, none of it matters, but um, it doesn't matter as much as, um, you know, actually filling in the, the forefront. Sorry, I'm just trying to find where's best to, to have you. So I'm just going to bring out a load of things that I've got. So bear with me as I get all of my fussy cuts and labels and different things. Um, I'm just trying to keep them in piles so that I don't, um, yeah, so that it's a bit easier to find things really if you have everything in piles ready to go. I know you won't be able to see half of these, but some is better than none, eh? <laughs> okay. Right, last pile. Um, I'm running out of space. <laughs> uh, Alright, that one. That one have to go up there. Okay, right, I think I'm all set. So I just wanted to show you, you know, I keep things in piles just to make things a bit easier. Right, what are we going to do? Um, so I've got some Tim Holtz ephemera. Um, I like to use these just because it makes it easy, I suppose. Um, you know, they're, they're ready, cut out, ready to go kind of thing. Part of me is thinking to have that, um, that there. Um, say part of me, all of me, if I'm going to put it down. 
Now I don't know if the red mushrooms are going to go, but maybe the brown ones. I'm just going to essentially just fling some things down and and work with work with that really I mean you know I, I don't want these to take a lot of effort I think is the, the main thing is I want them to be quite um quite just just do it <laughs> um and I think sometimes th these types of things clusters embellishments all that sort of stuff layering all the rest of it is just a lot easier when you just go for it and you don't really you don't get stuck inside your head um like some of us can i guess myself included in that <laughs> right um i'm just having a look through the tim holtz bits just to see if i've got any other any other ones so these are a little bit more grungy than what i normally do um but i'm okay with the occasional grunge <laughs> um i want to you know start getting a little bit more comfortable with it um you know where 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 appropriate it's not always it's not always for me right so this one is a slightly different colored background so i'm thinking i want something bigger so i'm wondering whether i could use a bird or a pair of birds just to take your focus really away from this background but if I do that, I'm going to want them in the middle because they're a little bit big. The fox isn't right. Yeah. I want some more trees. So I've got these tiny little trees and I never know how to use them. So I'm thinking this will be ideal. This sort of project, I think. I'm not a fan of that butterfly anyway, so <laughs> something like that. Don't want the tree stump. So yeah, a lot of it is, as per usual with my clusters, it's just fiddling around until you get the thing that you like. Um thinking a bird for that one as well, actually. Just hold it up and see. maybe or this one. Oh yeah I think I prefer them um I think that bee is a little bit small so I'm gonna change my mind I'm really liking the birds actually and that's a little bit big that one because I don't want their tails to get messed up because these are going to go into my stash for when I'm ready for this type of a project, you know. What do we think? I'm going to switch these around. Don't know why, I just prefer it. So I'm thinking to just go with those as my uh, focal points. So let's move all my focal points out of the way because I'm done with those. That's it. So that was that was painless, wasn't it? <laughs> right, now we're going to want to have some numbers, words, labels, the usual guff. So um sort of humming and ahhing about where to start so um oh I like that there you go straight away we have one just needs inking and gluing uh, which as yeah I'll definitely do <laughs> I'll definitely do after so this one I think is going to want something small-ish because those birds are taking up quite a lot of space so you know this kind of thing with the you can't see those can you little um numbery type things see what i've got 
I've got some oh I've got some black ones which I've been I've been using um I want to put them I want to put it up here but sorry I'm just going to hold it up sometimes it's easier that way um that's not quite right is it right let's try some of these Hmm. Hmm. Maybe curved one might be better. I don't hate it, I'm just not in love with it at this point. Um It's like I want to fill in the gap there. But I'm thinking maybe filling in the gap with one of those isn't the right thing. Maybe what we want is something more like this. Maybe. Let's see. What do we like? And then it's part of the background still. Kind of. Ish. Um... I don't know why I just pulled out essentially the same thing, just a different number. Straight away, I prefer that. And then I think it's going to make it easier for um, choosing a label or a number to go with it. Because now I can come down here. But because we've got the number in the background, I don't want the focus to be on numbers uh, so much. So instead, we're going to want something word-like. Now, I didn't get out a huge amount of words. I didn't think I would use as many. So I might have to... Yeah, I might have to come back to that one and just uh, pop a word down there. So I'll come back to you. Um, This one is going to want... Something labelish, label like, maybe. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry if you can't. I realise I haven't, <laughs> I haven't looked up. I've gotten into that like, um, you know, that frame of mind when you just suddenly start like, just firing a dime a dozen. You know, you just start uh, running off with <laughs> your ideas. <laughs> Let me just check. Yeah, I think that's fine, isn't it? Okay, I think I like the dark number with that one. I don't know why, I just do. So are we gonna want the same kind of thing for this one then? I don't know if I've got any more black ones. nice yeah maybe that so um i'm just going to switch these around so that i don't um well just so that they're closer to me really because those ones are all sort of ready ish um apart from a word for the birds so mr butterfly um one's got quite a bit of green on it but I think we're gonna want something bigger actually um, I'm thinking you know yeah yeah that'll do and birdie I'm thinking word for the bird <laughs> Did not mean to rhyme. Um, yeah, I think I want a word. Basically, yeah, the bird ones I want words for, I think. So, yeah, same with that. I'll get a word out. Um, and then what do you want, little succulent? Um, don't know. Oh, 
possibly. I want I want that kind of thing, but bigger. Which makes me think I want. Uh, that's fine. So that's a maybe if I can't find something better. Um, I'm gonna want a bigger a bigger label. Part of me is wondering whether to use something um, a bit rounded, but I don't know if I've got any ready to go. Oh no, definitely not round. So look, I suddenly remembered it's a circular cluster. So the roundness, uh, yeah, we don't want round. <laughs> that doesn't look quite right. Um, so I'm just having a little, little peek at these. Um, no, nothing in there. Um, possibly that, and then I'm thinking it's going to want something else. Um, because I'm thinking it's going to want a little number, maybe. Just because there's not as much going on on this one. So what if we then added, yeah, I like that. And I'm thinking, do we want to do the same thing there then? We want to add a little uh, number. So this is kind of how, you know, if you're gonna do mass makes and stuff, um, you know, to, to get things ready, for future projects because yeah it's it is handy to have especially if you you make a lot of journals um but what is helpful then is you're essentially building these up um layer by layer together aren't you so you know now i'm going back over them and thinking oh do i want to add you know little numbers and things which i think i do somewhere um Whereas before I might have just left that and been like, I'm, I'm fine with that. But now I've added a number over there. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, let's add a number. Yeah, I like that. Um, so again, I'm, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just looking over all of them. Obviously we've got some half finished ones, but do any of them want that little bit of extra? Um, and I don't think so, not at this point. Um, unless I'm just looking at this one like we could add something else in the background just no not that I do feel like this one maybe wants something else um, it's already got numbers on it though which is the sorry about that that will be the uh, the postman again um, so yeah, I'm just starting to um, put some words in. Um, so I've just popped in wood notes there, and oh, and then this one I added this little extra piece of Tim Holtz ephemera, just because I felt like it did want um, something else. So um, I want something a little bit bigger for this one, um, bigger than the words that I've got. I want something more like this, but I don't have anything that's related to birds I should look into into some you know into getting some stuff so I'm thinking to just go with something like that um so then we just want something for you so again I've just I'm just making it up really <laughs> um but yeah I'm just getting out things that I think would work and then it's just a case of playing around until you're you're happy with what you've got um And yeah, it's a nice relaxing activity, clusters. If you don't get inside your head, which um, I know is it's easier said than done sometimes. And honestly, sometimes it works out really, really easy and things come together so super quickly and you surprise even yourself. Other times it can be a little bit of a struggle. It really just depends with, you know, what you're, what you're working with, isn't it? Like, for example, I really thought that I was gonna have words with these birds, <laughs> oh my goodness me. Um, but I'm actually really liking the, the number and labels. So that's that, isn't it? Um, I'm just gonna double check. 
um, just this one. I don't know whether I want something more like this on this one somehow. Um, nope, that's too much. So yeah, number it is. So I'm just going to get those inked and glued down because I think I'm happy. I'm just going to do one last one last sort of scan around just make sure yeah I think so so I'm gonna yeah I'll get them inked and glued and then I'll bring them up so you can see um you know the different details so I'll be right back okay there we go that's all of them done well, as I say I'll hold them up so you can see them a bit better yeah I'm quite happy with them it's a bit tricky using the the circles so it was a nice challenge I think um, so yeah, thank you to Tanya from Dirty Treasure for her ideas of how to, to use the circle backgrounds. So as I say, the, you know, the layer in the papers and things was inspired by her video. So, oops, there we go. So I will link uh, her video down below so you can check out um, her, her versions of these, I suppose. Um, yeah, I mean, these are just to go into my stash. And as I say, I'm just trying desperately to use up circles. So that's all of those, and then I forget I had this one to start me off, didn't I? Um, so let me see what I've got left in the circle department. So I've got um, some more punched out larger circles. Um, these ones, they already have, you know, birds and the rabbit on and stuff. So I was just going to add words to these. So I'm just going to quickly do that off, off camera. And then these ones were a bit brighter, so I didn't really feel like I wanted to mix these in because I was going to make life difficult for myself but I have got these left and um, I punched these out from an easter egg box and I thought these would be um really fun to do kind of like a bird's nest type of thing so I'm going to save that for another video so uh, look out for that um hopefully later this month I just need to to find some stuff that I can use um that I've got in my stash and oh my goodness me my fingers are atrocious <laughs> all that ink and glue I need to go wash my hands. Anyway, so um, thanks so much for keeping me company as always. I um, hope you enjoyed seeing those come together. I think that was, you know, fairly quick considering we, we did about eight just then. So, um, so yeah, thank you so much. I hope you like them and I hope you are going to use up some of your circles. Um, and that's all. <laughs> thanks then, everyone. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.